I'm Cheryl Waters. You've got it tuned to KEXP at 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming worldwide at KEXP.org. Charlie Bliss is here. So excited. So excited to be here. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> and your new album, Young Enough, also amazing. So excited to hear live songs from that today. Shall we just start with some music? Let's do it. It's Charlie Bliss live on KEXP. Doesn't know it, anything goes Karate lessons, reality shows I feel so tired, can't believe this is it It's gonna break my heart to see it blown to bits Staring at cars, selling your art Feeling so sure you're waking up tomorrow Better son or daughter drunk walking home making that choice to be completely alone your mom in the yard your dad's favorite team poised to fail then somehow suddenly win love when you're in it felt in french kissing it's gonna break my heart to see it blown to bits it's gonna break my heart to see it blown to bits it's gonna break my heart to see it blown to bits it's gonna break my heart to see Charlie Bliss live on KEXP, coming out of the gates with so much excitement and enthusiasm. The new album called Young Enough, that song called Blown to Bits. You always bring 100% to your shows. I actually rarely pull my phone out during these sessions, but I had to get some photos and videos of you jumping up and down, Eva, during that last <laughs> song. And again, you all look so great. Thanks for bringing it so much today. Thank you so much. This is amazing. We're live here in the studios with Charlie Bliss who are going to be playing at Holocene tonight in Portland and tomorrow back in Seattle at the Crocodile. What have we got next? We're going to play Capacity. Ah, this one's a fave. i 
Charlie Bliss live on KEXP. Eva, Spencer, Dan, and Sam, it's always so fun to have you in studio. You bring so much positivity to your live shows, and it's no wonder that you've gained legions of fans Aww. over the years you've been making music. You really give a lot to your audience. And in fact, last time I saw you uh, was at the Showbox last January playing with Wolf Parade. Yes. And right after that, you, you slayed it on stage, the crowd was going wild. And then you come out and meet your fans afterwards. You were at the merch table. You have a real connection with your audience. Tell me a little bit about how um, you, you feel about that in your live shows and the connection with the people who have grown to love you. Absolutely. You know, we've been a band for about eight years. Um, and so, We've really worked our way up very slowly from, you know, playing shows to just our parents and our closest friends who we could kind of force to come to see us play. So to us, like every, every kind of stage that we're at, every, every way in which we've grown just feels like a tremendous victory for us. And um, really the fact that there are people who are excited to see us play and excited to come to our shows, I don't think that we'll ever... Uh, I don't think we'll ever take that for granted. Yeah, I think in our minds we'll always be that band that was begging our five friends if they could come to the yes. show. <laughs> and so the fact that, you know, our music resonates with people is, feels really special. Absolutely. Um, you know, and especially, we just put out this album, Young Enough, and it's a really personal album. Um, and, you know, you never know how people are going to react to something like that and react to us sharing 
really personal information with them. But the most incredible thing about it has just been that the more honest and open and vulnerable we are with our fans, like the more they give that back to us. And at our shows, there's this just like electric connection that feels like so crazy and really special. So we love, we love our fans, we're really lucky. I know you've all pushed yourself really hard on this new record and you're moving closer and closer to a sound that feels right for the band, which you've been doing um, the entire career of this band. And tell me a little bit about what you wanted to accomplish with Young Enough and how you got there. Yeah, I, I think um, the number one thing we felt was that we didn't just want to make the same record twice. We were really proud of Guppy. We love that record, but I think, you know, in part, it took so long to, for us to make that record. It took about five years for it to, <laughs> from start to finish. And so, but you know, by the time it had come out even, we were ready, we were so ready for new songs and to challenge ourselves and to feel like we were really growing. Um, so from day one, I think that was just like the most important thing to us to make a record that felt like something new and something that wasn't our first instinct. And you know, we, this is our first record we ever made where we didn't all have day jobs or weren't full-time students. And so we had, when we were home from tour, we had all day nine to five to work on songs as if it was our job. Um, so that I think is kind of how we, we, you know, were thinking of this record. It was like, we are gonna work these songs until they are exactly what we want them to be. We're all perfectionists and so, you know, just from, you know, from the outset, that was exactly what we were hoping for. You said, Eva, that it's a very personal record, and I know lyrics are very important to you. There's a lot of emotions on this record, and different emotions throughout the songs, and I feel it both musically and lyrically, but can you talk a little bit about what this album's about? Absolutely. Um, you know, the catalyst for this record, um, I was in a really abusive relationship. I was sexually assaulted by my partner, and... Um, once it happened, it was kind of something that I buried and I didn't want to talk to anybody about, um, which is really strange for me. I'm usually someone who, it's really usually easy for me to ask for help, but something about that situation felt kind of like something I couldn't really dig myself out of. And it's kind of interesting when you do something like that, I feel like you kind of really can't bury something like that. It, it just sort of comes out of you, whether you want it to or not. And that was sort of my experience of writing this record was just, I hadn't really talked to anybody about it, but it kept, I would sit down to write a song and a song like Chat Room would come out or The Truth. Um, and it kind of forced me to look at this and accept that that's something that I'd been through. And then, um, you know, but really the message of the record, I think, is about coming out the other end of something like that. Um, I think it's a really positive record about how, how, dark and difficult and traumatic experiences can kind of force you to grow into someone that you really like and not destroy you or make you a victim or weak or anything. I feel kind of coming out of this and especially now that we have this record and something tangible that I can look at and hold makes me feel really strong. Um, and I think that's the message of the record is kind of just about coming out the other end of something feeling like you know, proud of that fact that you made it. Well, that's a very common thing you hear that people don't feel the ability to share things like that. It's so powerful that you shared it with the people in your life and then with this larger audience. I imagine you've heard from a lot of people who tell you how much that's helped them. Yeah, and it's, it's mind blowing. Um, it's definitely not something I take for granted at all. Um, and not only our fans, but even, you know, people in our lives, like family members and friends of mine who might not have, we might not have ever had that conversation. Um, and I was really nervous before starting press for this record. I, I was terrified. Um, I hadn't really talked to my family about it. And so to kind of suddenly put it out there in this super public way felt really scary, but I just feel like the, the positive energy that's come back from doing that has just been kind of like one of the most um, rewarding and magical and empowering experiences of my life, so. Well, it's wonderful to hear that. The results on Young Enough are amazing. Charlie Bliss with a brand new album out on Seattle label Barsook Records. And tomorrow night, they'll be back in Seattle playing at the Crocodile. If you're down in Portland, go see them tonight at Holocene. And uh, I believe you got the title track coming up next. Yes, ma'am.
This is Young Enough. It's Charlie Bliss live on KEXP. Love how everyone's moving around. <laughs> Yeah. 
So good. We're live in the KEXP studios with Charlie Bliss playing songs from the new album, Young Enough. Switch back. <laughs> On KEXP. What a great new album. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks so much for visiting us. We love having you here at KEXP. Thank you. We love KEXP. Best. Well, until next time, this is Charlie Bliss live on KEXP Seattle. Discover great music at kexp.org.